Susan, what do you make of this? This is a classic business school textbook case here. You've got a management team that was ineffective. They didn't listen to their customers. They lost their audience. They lost their value. They didn't watch market trends to see that sales were going online. Instead of opening up bricks and mortar stores, they were going online. And here we are in a situation where, yes, it's a recession, but guess what? There are a lot of other factors. Sorry to see this happening to them, but hey, wake up. And joining us with a few tips, Susan Salovic, author of a New York Times bestseller, It's Your Biz, and CEO and co-founder of itsyourbiz.com. Susan, I'm glad you're here because John, John needs your help. You know, you can go online and many of the retailers allow you to print out gift cards online. By the way, that's one of the top holiday gifts this season, so it could be a big hit too. Yeah. But I'm going to have to disagree with you. I don't think anybody's getting fired over that because think about this. What are we talking about here right on this show? What's all over the media? Mercedes-Benz. But here's what I really loved about this story is the spark of entrepreneurship. People hired migrant workers to stand in those lines, to snatch up those phones, to resell them to make money. We are talking about small business. We are talking in the heart of capitalism right so there. Thanks so much for calling in. Susan will answer some of your questions. Well, first of all, Chris, wow, that is spectacular. So you're obviously doing something right. That's a great question. And you are asking the question that's on the minds of so many small businesses right now. Actually, I'm going to say something that you may not like. One thing I would encourage you to do, I'm going to put my lawyer hat on here. At the end of the day, it is all about making money. And if you can't make money, then don't go do it. So I hope that helps. Thank you. Thank you very much, Susan. It's absolutely ridiculous. You know, the reason he hasn't come out with any numbers is because it's too embarrassing to the White House. And quite frankly, this isn't about principle. It's about politics. He is appealing to a very unsophisticated constituency that doesn't understand our very complex tax law. Let's also but talk about some of the other benefits that people get in their personal credit cards. Is that possible to get through a business credit card? Oh, I have a business credit card that gives me frequent flyer points for my airlines. And so if I'm in a situation where I have a last minute airfare, you know how expensive that can be, I can use those points and it saves my company money. Susan Solovic, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.